So hello everyone and welcome to our first review and unboxing video. Today we have the Fairmax Eclipse 3 CPU cooler from Spire, or TME 3 for short. This is the third generation of the Fairmax Eclipse series, and this is a high-end CPU cooler which would be ideal for gaming PCs or high-end PCs in general. It would also be ideal for anybody who plans on overclocking, as this is probably one of the better air coolers on the market. So I'm just going to open it up now and I'll show you what's inside and I'll be re reviewing it later in the video. So I've opened up the box now and we've got three things inside. You've got the heat sink with one fan connected, an accessories box and then these three leaflets on the side. This first one here is the product warranty card and this, this is a CPU cooler so you get one year warranty with Spire. The next leaflet is a user and installation guide and the third is just a piece of the picture showing you how the CPU cooler is made. So now I'm going to go into more detail of the other two products. So the first thing is the heatsink. As you can see it comes pre-installed with a 120mm fan. And if you just take a look around it now, it looks good. It's kind of like a sleek back black look which will look very good in my case as it is all black. Now if I take a closer look at it, you can see in the corners there, they are rubber screws. So there will be no sound and no vibration from this. And then on the bottom you have five 8mm copper pipes which run in a U-shape throughout the whole heatsink, going up both sides, and they come out on the top in this kind of V-shape. So I'll just show you a bit more of the uh, cooler there. As you can see, the uh, fan connector um, finishes in that bottom corner, so you will need extenders for this to work, however they are provided in the accessories box. And if I just take a quick look at the blades of now, you can see that they are curved in both directions. I imagine this is so that they run quietly and increase airflow. So now this, the next thing in the box is the accessories pack. So when you open that up, the first thing you'll come across is the second 120mm fan. And then there's all the screws and connectors for all the types of motherboards that this supports. This pack here is the AMD pack for the AMD K8, AMD2, AMD2 Plus and AMD3 motherboards. The second pack is for the Intel pack. This also comes with thermal paste and replacement rubber screws for the uh, fan to connect to the heatsink. This is for Intel LGA1366, 1156 and 775. The next thing in the uh, accessories pack is the back plate to connect the heatsink to your motherboard. This back plate supports both Intel and AMD sockets. Then there's a bag of what look like motherboard standoffs. And then finally, um, two wire extensions for the fans. So now I'm going to install it onto my PC so we can give you an idea of how well it runs, how it performs and how easy it is to install. So unfortunately the camera ran out of battery as we were recording that, however you can does give you a good idea of what we were doing. So as for installing the cooler itself, it's quite easy, um, there's not much complicated to it and it's quite easy to do, however we made it difficult as we were installing it without taking our motherboard out of the case. It would be much simpler to do out the case. As, um, for example when it's in the case trying to get these screws to uh, connect it to the back plate was quite difficult getting the right angles and trying to find space when the case just gets in the way. Um, one thing I would like to speak about as well is the rubber connector screw things that connect the fans to the heatsink. Um, I don't think these work very well for like holding it in place and they're, they're quite difficult to get the fans on and off or to keep it in place. So. As long as they work well in dampening sound and making sure there's no vibrations, I guess they are okay. But from the installing side, they're not very good. The next thing is now that I've got it in my case, 
it is quite noisy. I have a fan controller on my PC, and I have just when I'm not not doing anything really, I have all my fans turned down. Um, this cooler doesn't come with the uh, any connections to connect it to a fan controller, so I have to keep it on its default setting, and that is much louder than my uh, current fans. So it's definitely made my PC a little bit louder. However, saying that, the temperatures for my CPU at the moment are in the low 30s and when I render a video it goes up to mid 40s low 50s which is very good I haven't overclocked it yet but I uh, will be doing that soon and I'll make sure I give you an update so as I said at the beginning of this video this is a high-end CPU cooler from Spire it's it's perfect for high-end gaming machines, and if you plan, or if you plan to overclock, or if you do a lot of video render rendering that requires a lot of processing, then if you overclock up your processor, this cooler will be ideal for it. So um, I'd just like to thank Spire for sending us this product to review, and if you have any more questions, just leave it in a comment below.